It's gathering and scampering. One, two. Now they're matching terms off the far turn. Kushchi's going to swing wide. Strathnaver behind that one. Laura Michelle also toward the center of the course. And into the stretch, Regalo Mia from the inside just runs right by all of them. But Strathnaver's coming. Strathnaver and Kushchi setting their sights on Regalo Mia. Regalo Mia determined. Strathnaver comes at her again from the outside. Strathnaver for Joel Rosario at 18 to 1 to spring the upset in the Bewitch. Regalo Mia second. Kushchi was third. Kissable was fourth. Two minutes 30 and three fifth seconds. Keeneland's featured eighth race. The 52nd running of the Grade 3 Bewitch Stakes, 11 Strathnaver, owned by Andrew Stone and trained by Graham Motion. Four wins today for jockey Joel Rosario. Strathnaver, a four-year-old Oasis Dream filly, out of River Bell by Lahib, bred in Great Britain by C.R. Phillipson and Mrs. H.G. LaSalle. The time for the 12 furlongs, 2 minutes 30 and 3 fifth seconds over the Hagen course on the Firm Turf trophy presentation is upcoming. Presenting the trophy for today's Bewitch Stakes is John Pedersen, Senior Vice President, Operations of Tiffany & Company. Keeneland is proud to be partners with Tiffany, America's premier jeweler and silversmith. In fact, the gold julep cup presented by Mr. Pedersen was crafted by Tiffany artisans. These same artisans craft the other pieces that comprise Keeneland's signature gold trophy program, including the coveted gold tray, pitcher, and bowl. And that presentation made to the connections of Strathnaver. Strathnaver scores the upset win in the Bewitch under Joel Rosario, trained by Graham Motion. Talk to Joel first. First of all, congratulations, setting a new record. Uh, four wins this afternoon, and yet you're 18 to 1 in this race. Tell us about your trip. I got a perfect trip, and, uh, you know, I just thank you very much, you know, for the all, you know, all the exciting, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, I, she had a really good trip, you know what I mean? I kind of, you know, Graham told me, you know, let me just let him you know, do whatever she wants to do, and um, and she do it, you know. He was telling me, like, I don't know if he can hold the distance, but we did, I. <laughs> <laughs> you, you did perfect. You made your move at exactly the right time. They were going pretty quick on the front end. Did you know the pace was quick? Well, I kind of, you know, followed myself a little fine behind, but I just let him do what, whatever she wants to do, you know what I mean? No, you know, no getting forward and no taking back either, and that's what she wants to, you know. So I figured probably that was going a little quick. <laughs> Congratulations. And Graham, congratulations to you. This uh, filly was kind of undistinguished last year. Comes to your barn, you win an allowance race, and then throw her right into a grade three. Uh, what made you think that much of her? Yeah, I mean, I thought she was very impressive that day at Gulfstream. And uh, like I said to Joelle, I just wasn't sure about the mile and a half, but clearly she handled it pretty good. She handled it very well. And to get the leading rider like Joel Rosario at 18 to 1, that's kind of impressive. Yeah, I think Dubai helped that a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it took a little convincing with Ron, but I, like I said to Ron, I really liked her race at Goldstream, and, and she'd worked very well at Palm Meadows, so we, we were excited about her. And you had, you had good rapport with, 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 with Joel. Congratulations, Graham. Strathnaver takes the bewitch.